For years, Tesla has been the harbinger of new technologies. Whether it's with its offering of commercially viable electric vehicles, the company's revolutionary Powerwall system, or more. Even so, it seems the company's fan base is picking up their recent slack with an assortment of unique and frankly quite crazy innovations built to be added to Tesla cars. So, join us today and make sure to watch to the end as we take a ride through the craziest innovations added to Tesla cars. Starting off, our first innovation is Tesla solar roofs. Well, no, not the actual Tesla solar roofs, like the shingles that are miniature photovoltaic cells. These are genuine solar roofs added to Tesla cars post-purchase that allow the car to slowly charge off the sunlight. There have been thousands of attempts to accomplish something like this, although for a while, the technology was too expensive or too difficult to come across. That's changed though as the solar panels have become cheaper and electric vehicles have become more readily available. That's where dedicated engineers and mechanics come into the equation. These incredibly hardworking individuals have managed to create portable solar cell systems to charge Tesla cars on the go. Sure, they might not be the most efficient charging methods ever conceived, but it's surely a step in the right direction. It's more impressive when you notice the incredible advantages engineers have brought with these roofs, with companies such as Lightyear creating some of the most insanely minimalist solar-powered Teslas out there. The company has actually created a solar roof built into the Tesla Model 3. Yes, in an actual car. While most other attempts, whether successful or not, use external solar panels, Lightyear has developed an incredible technology that places the panels on the car's roof. In addition to the incredibly convenient design, the panels are also some of the most efficient available, giving up to 45 miles of additional range every day. The Tesla Model 3 charges at around 5 miles per hour through your standard wall outlet, meaning that, on the go, you produce enough power for 9 hours plugged into a wall outlet at home. This solar roof innovation could go as far as to become a new aspect of an EV owner's lifestyle, as the possibilities could be endless. Most current designs by engineers have solar panels atop the car, allowing charging on the go, including when your car may be dead. While this isn't necessarily as integrated as Lightyear's developments, the fact that many civilian engineers could afford to put solar panel roofs on their Tesla cars shows that the technology is growing in potential benefits. At some point, we may even have cheap and efficient enough solar roofs that Tesla can include them as a purchasable option. I mean, they do have their thin and effective solar roof tiles already, so who knows? Anyway, the solar roof isn't our only charging invention in this video, although it's likely the most possible and commercially viable option. Our second innovation comes in the form of an electric recharging lane. As you likely know since you're watching this video about Tesla, most electric vehicles charge through plug-in chargers, either in parking lots or at home. While it's pretty convenient when you're at rest, plugs make it impossible to charge a Tesla on the go. While there's still the growing option for solar power atop your Tesla Model 3, there are several hassles. Purchasing the equipment, setting up the complicated circuits, making sure it stays on and efficient, there's a lot to take care of. In addition, imagine running out of batteries on the highway with no solar panels or a way to charge your car. There's now a solution to that issue thanks to the UK government. The UK government is currently investing £500 million $779 million, in wirelessly transmitting road technology to charge electric cars while they drive. It's quite impressive on the surface but even more spectacular when you think of the overly complicated aspects of creating a road with the ability to charge an entire vehicle. Unlike many speculative technologies, pretty similar to these roads, the new charging roads are very real and available for use now. Well, ignoring the limited testing phase for a restricted section of a British highway. That's enough about the project's background though. What about the actual roads? These Tesla charging roads work through magnetic induction technology the same technology behind a wireless phone charger. In this way, electric cars can be universally fitted with a wireless receiver, allowing any car to use the road. With no need to worry about proprietary chargers or the danger of conductive power, there's a lot of benefit to wireless roads. These roads are still incredibly complicated though. Without going into too much detail, here's a quick explanation. Charge cables buried underneath the road generate electromagnetic fields with changing qualities. This changing field creates what's known as a magnetic flux, which is picked up by the charging car, whose field changes as a response. There's a lot more detail in between those steps, but it ends up with a current passing through and charging the car. 
In addition to the actual charging cables, the road will also have wireless communication so that roads can detect an oncoming car. The benefits stretch further though, as Tesla cars and the actual roads can communicate back and forth in poor conditions or low battery power. We might even have wireless roads which guide Tesla electric vehicles to be charged when they're low. Even still, the road is only available to beta testers with modified cars. Tesla electric vehicles are perfect for these roads thanks to the ease of retrofitting a Model 3 with a wireless charger. Just imagine the future of electric vehicles pulling your car over into the charging lane with your battery slowly refilling as you drive. It's amazing. It's not as crazy as our last innovation though. The third crazy innovation is legitimately crazy in the form of customized Tesla keycards. Well, customized Tesla wireless antenna would be more accurate. Tesla Uber useful keycards have provided an easy way for Tesla owners to access their cars without needing keys or any manual actions. All you have to do is touch the card to an access point on a Tesla door and the car will unlock for you to use. The thing is, several people have found out that you don't really need the card for the key aspect to function. Bracelets, rings, watches, and another one we'll get to in a moment have all been used as keys to Tesla cars. You see, the only part of the Tesla keycard that matters is a small coil and ring within the plastic sheet. This little part holds all of the technology and information necessary to force a Tesla electric vehicle to unlock. The little card it comes in is just a neat addition. People found this out pretty quickly, immediately getting to work on easier key access than with a plastic card. Think about the countless ways your little plastic card could be lost and your Tesla locked. You could drop it, it could float away, you could break it, it could be blown away and so much more. Compared to keys in certain aspects, the keycard can sort of feel like a downgrade. That's before engineers got to work on creating new products with the tech inside of the Tesla keycards. One of our favorites is the Tesla bracelet, created by dissolving the plastic around the card, then placing the coils inside of a branded bracelet. This way, owners can access their Tesla cars by just tapping their wrist against the side of the car. No more losing cards, snapping plastic, fumbling with a wallet or anything else. Just a quick tap to the side of the car of your wrist and suddenly you have access to your car. The thing is people went past just bracelets. Additionally, fob rings were built which were frankly really cool and could serve as great gifts to a spouse but other uses for the coils were found. One Tesla owner from Texas actually went as far as to implement her keycard's coils and chip into her arm. You didn't hear that wrong, she actually had the technology surgically implanted into her body in order to access the car without needing to grab a bracelet, ring or card. It frankly isn't a terrible idea for the future of wireless access, but it's definitely a crazy innovation for Tesla cars. It's not hard to believe that most people haven't had surgically implanted fobs as one of the first things on their mind when it came to new Tesla innovations. Even still, there are dozens of other unique and interesting Tesla innovations as the world keeps warming up to electric vehicles. As Tesla continues to grow into the world's car landscape, we can expect to see growing customizations and innovations for cars, each becoming more useful. Who knows, you might find cheap solar panel kits becoming commercially viable soon or a wireless charging road near you. The possibilities are endless and it comes down to the dedicated and intelligent experiments done by engineers and Tesla owners to keep the innovations coming. If Tesla's not going to give us key fob bracelets, then who else is going to take care of them? The innovations keep pumping out and sometimes it can be hard to keep track of them all. What do you guys think? Are there any major innovations you think we've missed? How about any cool additions you want us to cover in the future? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for further explorations into the tech world. Thank you.